Hey everybody, welcome to my second Q&A video. Um, I promised that I would put one up this week, so here I am fulfilling my promise. Uh, you guys sent me questions on Twitter and Facebook and all that good stuff, so um, I wrote them down in my handy dandy notebook, and I'm going to try to answer some of them for you. Um, again, I didn't really take specific people's names and that sort of thing because well, it'll double the time of this video, so I'm just kind of answer some of the questions in general so I can try to fit some more questions in. Um, the last video I did was very um, Halloween Town centric. Uh, it, I answered a lot of questions about Halloween Town, so I'm going to try to balance it out and answer some questions about some other projects and things this time. So here we go. Um, Okay, so some of you asked some questions about Quince, which was the other Disney movie that I did. Um, and one of you wanted to know uh, if the babies in the movie were all the same babies from, because uh, I think they aged from about newborn to, I think, five months in the film, if it was all the same kids, uh, which it was not. Um, we only took about five weeks or so to shoot the film. So we had different sets of babies, and I I think we had them at three different ages, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we had some babies that were very young and very small playing the newborns. And then I think we had a couple that were sort of in between. Um, because then the oldest babies at the end of the film are about five months old. And um, actually, I have a younger brother who um, was about five months old at the time of shooting. So he's actually one of the babies. <laughs> That's how I know that it was five months old. Um, so he played one of the babies. I think he played Eddie, maybe Charlie in one of the scenes. I can't remember for sure, but um, he was always really calm and cool. So he hung out on set and, and uh, didn't mind the cameras or anything. So um, so I, I think, I know, that, I know that there was newborns and five, five month old. So there was, I think, an also another age set in between there. So there was lots, lots of babies, lots of different babies, but they were all adorable and cute, and I love babies, so it was, um, I loved hanging out with them all the time. Um, let's see, I think somebody else asked about, um, the character that I played, Jamie, and how it was, um, just being in the movie in general, and, and, uh, and talking to the camera and that sort of thing, um, and that was one of the aspects of the film that I loved, being able to, they call it breaking the fourth wall, meaning that you, acknowledge that the camera's there and uh and and talk to the audience and I really loved doing that and I loved all the different figments of of Jamie's imagination from um her growing arms to uh when they froze everybody in the gymnasium and and did that really cool shot um and I kind of climbed in around the people frozen I just loved Jamie was cool and just always uh was always imagining things so it was it was really cool how they how they played those out. Um, let's see. A lot of people asked me about um, Rose Red, which is uh, a Stephen King film that I did, and uh, it was a scary Stephen King film. Um, I love Rose Red. I think it was. I I play a autistic telekinetic psychic, but you don't hear that every day um, in the movie. And it's basically about uh, a group of psychics that are brought into this haunted house, but it's like this big abandoned mansion, and try to wake up the different spirits and stuff in the house. So um, not unlike a little bit of, of having a sort of magic powers, it was kind of cool to, uh, to make things happen with my mind. Um, and working with Stephen King was really cool. He's a really sweet, outgoing guy. And, uh, and everybody in the cast was really fun. Um, and it, it was really that we took about five months, I think, to shoot the movie in Seattle. And it was really cool being able to watch all those special effects and the different uh, creature, not creatures, but they were basically dead versions of people. Um, how they created all those those people and, and made them look sufficiently creepy on camera. So I loved uh, I loved watching all the behind the scenes aspects of that movie. 
Um, and uh, it was, it, it's really cool because I think a lot of people, um, I get, I get a lot of messages about that film. So it was nice being able to, um, to adequately scare people. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, I liked this question. If you weren't an actress, what would you be? It's a very good question. Um, obviously I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I liked a lot of different things growing up. Um, I would have loved if I, if I could have had the, uh, the discipline to maybe be, I, I loved science growing up. I loved biology, but I don't know if I would have become a scientist or maybe a doctor or something that didn't include blood. Cause I don't think I could cut people open and be okay with it. Um, so maybe, I, I don't know what kind of person that would be, <laughs> or I don't know, maybe like a pediatrician or something. I love kids, but I always found the human body and, and biology and that sort of thing really, really cool and fascinating. Um, and what else do I love? I don't know. I might have might have tried to be like a, a painter or an artist, not or an artist, a, a painter is an artist. Um, I might have tried that a little bit. I, I, I think the, I have different creative aspects of my personality, so I think I would have tried to nurture that in some way. Um, and what else? I, I thought I might have been a teacher for a while too, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I love being around kids and, and, uh, I, I would have, I love learning stuff. So you can, you can, I don't know, maybe suggest some things I, I could have done. I don't know, but that's, that's some of the things I was into, um, when I was younger and considered, considered being, um, or exploring, but, uh, I love acting. So, um, that's, that's, that's what you got. You got me. Um, okay. Okay. So somebody asked me, uh, I got some questions about Big Bad Wolf, which is another horror film that I did where I played, uh, the character of Sam, who is, she's a badass. She's like a, she's a tomboy. She rides motorcycles, uh, and she just really doesn't take any crap from anybody. Um, she's just, she's very blunt and almost the complete opposite of who I am. So that's what made the characters so much fun to play. Um, it, it brought out the sarcastic side of my personality and it's kind of freeing to be able to play somebody who, um, doesn't care what you think and just says what they're thinking off the top of the head, their head with no filter and nothing like that. And I didn't have to get in trouble for it. Like I could be rude and mean and not really offend anybody because it was just a movie. So that was really cool. Um, and I just, I kind of loved her sarcastic bitchy side. I mean, so um, <laughs> I I did that role because I, the character was so different, so unlike myself that it was, it was really awesome to, uh, to, to be her for a little while. So thank you for that question. Um, hmm. Somebody asked me what my um, hobbies are. Um, I love to read. I, I'm um, in the middle of all of Gillian Flynn's books right now. I've read Gone Girl and um, Dark Places. My sister and I have been reading them together and, uh, and loving them. And now I just started uh, her other one, um, Sharp Objects. So I can't wait for the movie versions of, of Gone Girl and Dark Places to come out. Um, I love her writing and, uh, I'm, I'm also trying to read, um, Brene Brown's, um, oh boy, now I'm forgetting, Daring Greatly. Um, I'm, I'm starting that one as well because I'm a big fan of hers. So I kind of read a mixture of fiction and sort of inspirational, um, spiritual stuff to make me think. So, um, okay, well, I am approaching the 10 minute mark. So I think that's all the questions I'm going to get to today. Um, and uh, thank you so much for sending them in. I promise to do one of these again soon. I'll have to keep track of what you guys are asking me so I can always answer fresh things. Um, thank you for all of your, your tweets and your notes. And as I say, I read all of them, I promise. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Bye.